Well, well, well. Hello, everybody. Joe on coming back in with another battle replay here on Total War Room 2. Hope you guys are all having a great day. We have some more blood to be shed here on Total War Room 2. Welcome back to the Land of Sieges. All right, let's get in to the battle here. We're going to take a look at the armies. Actually, first, we do have the settlement of Kalmaludunum, and I did just put the mark right there. That is the town center up there. Let's take a look at the armies. First, we will look at the defenders. We have an Artavaki here being commanded by Damo, and all we see is his artillery piece. It's actually starting to get some shots out here. Oh, boy. Ripping down some of those chosen swordsmen. Woof. Rough. Uh, then we do have an Egypt. Oh, what is that? What is that? It's Qatari. Very nice. Uh, then we do have an Egypt here on defense as well. Programmer 4021. We see a couple units of his mercenary Cretan archers there. They're taking a little bit of damage. Oh, no, not yet. It looked like they were going to hit. Uh, and then we do have a Pontus being commanded by Liam 9526. There you go. Defenders out of the way. Getting it into the attackers. First, we have Arverni here being one of my favorite factions. Arverni being commanded by Pulex. And he has seven units of chosen swordsmen, three Osworn, one of those being his general, four Gallic hunters. And he did bring a heavy horse with him. Right next to him, the powerful Kush being commanded by Angry Monkey 911. And he has four armored Shotel warriors, three Kushite slave infantry, three swordsmen, three Shotel warriors, one regular slave infantry. His general is a royal Kushite archer, and he also has three units of the Nubian bowmen. And then over on this side, we have another one of my favorite factions, Boei, being commanded by Uchiha Madara. And he has seven units of sword followers, five Celtic warriors, one naked warrior. General is an Osworn. He also has four units of Celtic bowmen, one heavy horse, and a giant ballista. So there you go, guys. Army comps out of the way. Towers making their way towards the walls here. I think we have a breach maybe starting to be made over here from Bowie I did say that he was firing. Not really sure where he's shooting at, but ooh, we got some shots coming in over here. Sword followers, a little bit of damage. A little bit of damage. Ooh, yep. Okay. Wall is getting hit. Okay. So there you go, guys. Let's get ready for the beginning of the battle. Make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, share it around, and of course, subscribe to the channel if you are new. Let's go. All right, so here we are. We have some of the brave chosen swordsmen here of our Verney landing off of the towers. Getting into the ballista crew here. We have another unit charging across. We have some Iberian, so uh, I'm sorry, Iberian spearmen here for Ardvaki tossing some javelins. Another unit of Pontic swordsmen right here. They might have been able to get a good volley there, but unfortunately they're facing in the wrong direction. We have some Thoreo spears, some more Iberian spearmen, Thoreo spears, and an Iberian sword. Oh, wait, we got more coming up here. What do we got? Balearic Slingers, maybe two units of Balearic Slingers, a unit of Pikemen there. A lot of Pontus Archers here in the center. We have the four units of the Eastern Archers, another unit of Iberian Swordsmen there, along with the Cretan Archers that we already knew about. So Arverni and Kush have landed. Not a bad idea for Bowie Eye over there attacking by himself, essentially. Not a bad idea for him to hold back. Unit of the Kushite regular slave infantry, so not the Kushite slave infantry, regular slave infantry, but they did get in there. They neutralized the tower for the moment. Kush does have a couple more units here. We have his swordsmen getting off the walls, or off the towers, I should say. Another unit of swordsmen. So it looks like he is just going all out and landing everything. Uh, we have a unit of the Nubian bowmen here firing away, firing really far into the settlement, getting into some of these Pontic swordsmen. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. We got the Rayo Spears tossing them into these chosen swordsmen. Again, not taking a whole lot of damage. This unit was the one that was taking the damage from the artillery as they were making their way forward. But they are taking on a almost a full unit of Thoreo Spears at the moment. But nice charge here. Chosen Swordsman getting into a Thoreo Spear unit. Very nice charge right there. We'll start fighting among the brush here in the settlement again of Kamaladunum. Barbarians trying to push their way in. Some more units making their way forward. An Iberian Swordsman, two units. Oh no, one unit of Iberian Swordsman, another unit of Iberian Spearmen have moved up. Balearics on the wall, starting to fire across, getting some good shots into this Chosen Swordsman. Only killed one man so far. Do you see some javelins being thrown by the Chosen Swordsman here as well? So, all right, here we go. Kush back over on this side. Ooh, a lot of archer fire coming in. Eastern archers firing away. 25, 24. This unit here with 34. The other unit over there with 26. Good amount of kills so far. Just sending in his, his uh, regular swordsmen so far. They're trying to get through a unit of Pontic swordsmen. This unit, unfortunately, just getting absolutely decimated. Four kills so far. This unit here with 13, closing down closer to 100 left in the unit. Bowie Eye over here, starting to land. Oh, maybe not. Nope. Okay, he's going to get down. Maybe he's going to burn this tower. 
did make himself a breach. Another unit of the Naked Warriors actually have moved up. Might not be a bad idea. Some of these Cretan archers could probably get some really solid shots in onto that Naked Warrior unit. Just get them out of there. Some light shock infantry, but not a bad unit to get rid of. They can, can do a lot of damage. But all right, over here, what do we got here? We got some Nubian spearmen. Nubi oh, Levi Thoreo spears. There you go. Another unit of Levi Thoreo spears. We do have a unit of Celtic warriors way around over on this side for Bowie Eye, making their way long trek with this tower. I think that tower started roughly in this area here, maybe near this cabin or near this uh, long house here. Making their way up, though. Maybe he's going to just, I mean, I don't really know what kind of success that unit is going to have. Wouldn't be surprised. Oh, 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 oh. oh <laughs> chariots. Side chariots, Egyptian general. Uh, what else do we have back here? We got some Galatian swordsmen, some more mercenary Celtic warriors, or some mercenary Celtic warriors, not some more. But still a pretty rough fight going here for Kush. Starting to get some of his arrows inside, some of his Nubian bowmen getting in here. Chosen swordsmen making their way over here. Another unit of swordsmen still up in melee. Two units of chosen swordsmen? No, just one. One unit of chosen swordsmen have come over here, so he's going to start trying to help his ally out, initially break through this Pontic front line. Back over on this side, though. Oh, and ne oh, nope, never mind. I was going to say, it didn't look like it was very good, but we have a full unit of Shota warriors making their way over here. Should not have a difficult time getting through these Thoreos and Iberian swordsmen. Look at this. We had a unit of chosen swordsmen snuck around the line there. Iberian spearmen, though, they're going to move up. They're going to be able to take them out very, very easily uh, just because of the amount. Yeah, there's not a lot of those chosen swordsmen left. Balearic slingers here, 36 kills. Looks like they are going to start falling back. Gallic Hunters for Arverni starting to fire away, 28, 3, and 2. So, so far this unit doing rather well. We do have some shots coming in over here. Going to get into these Iberian Spearmen, try and dwindle their numbers down. Uh, this unit here of 148, this unit here with 123. But this Chosen Swordsman unit, how are they still moving? They are just getting around corners. 77 kills for them. Very nice. I mean, not a whole lot of kills for a Chosen Swordsman, but still... Just continuously making their way through. Again, I don't know how they got past both of those Iberian spearmen there, though. Not really sure, but oh boy, yep. Kush is working. Kush is doing work. 12 lost in the unit, 77 kills. Chosen Swordsman here, 88 men left in the unit, 73 kills. They definitely want to start putting some pressure this way, though. Pontic Swordsman taking some shots. The Rayo Spear is going to charge out with that 26 charge bonus. 68 kills looks like they are out of their javelins but they're going to continue trying to slow the advance down we got the osworn here to the units of osworn making their way up into the settlement back over on the bowie eye side uh did he land this tower he did not so it's just going to sit there we have two units of skatari there not a bad idea for that celtic warrior to just kind of hang out they will not survive that fight absolutely will not su survive that fight uh right here we have some sword followers finishing off a unit of levy thoreo's spears Looks like we got Flame Shot coming here. Not really sure. I guess it's that Cretan Archer. Get some shots in there. Uh, we have the Heavy Horse of Bowie Eye. Yeah, Heavy Horse for Bowie Eye. Maybe, maybe, maybe. He's going to try and slip in here. The defenders definitely either need to run these archers out or get some more infantry up closer to the front line because this Heavy Horse... Oh, this is the uh, Arverni Heavy Horse. I thought it was the Bowie Eye Heavy Horse. Where's the Bowie Eye Heavy Horse? Is he still back here? Oh, yeah, he's in the woods still right there. But yeah, Heavy Horse making their way inside the settlement, and they are on the way, boys. Oh, no. Oh, no. This Cretan Archer, no kills. Run. Run for your life. Run for your life. Run. No, 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 no. Why are you getting into the... No, not wedge formation. No. No, 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 no. Okay, well, he stopped it. He could come this way. He could come over here. Get this unit of Cretan Archers. Again, zero kills for Cretan Archers. That is going to be a big loss. Get out of wedge formation, dude. Come on, stop it. It doesn't really do very much. I mean, he got the charge off, which was inevitable. He was going to get the charge. Unfortunately, that Cretan Archer unit did not move. He was able to get the first unit away, though, so that's good. Uh, looks like Pontus has now just... Was there just a really weak defense here in the middle, I guess? Must have been just a really, really weak defense. Bowie Eye's still fighting away. Arverni tilt still taking on... Uh, Arvaki over here, but it looks like we have a mass pullback by the defenders immediately going back towards the second level here, or the first level, I guess you could say, maybe second level here. Uh, I did see an artillery shot come in there, though. Is that Bowie Eye firing? It is. He's got 35 kills so far. This right here is not a bad spot to fire. Right there, not a bad spot to fire at all. 
Try and get rid of those Levy Thoreo Spear. Oh, it's just the Nubian Bowman? Oh, Nubian Spear. Oh, it is. It's just Nubian Spearman. Do have a unit of Pikemen right there on the front or near to the front line. Not a good idea to do with Pikes. Not really a good idea to do with Pikes. Leave them all the way up there by themselves. Uh, Arverni has been successful on his attack, pushing Arvaki back. Going to start capturing up this tower. Going to be a big, well, not a big help, but it's going to be a help nonetheless. But Arverni's just going. He is a ma Oh my god, he's got his Osworn General all the way up here. He is a straight up madman. Now, I would not be suggesting. I know that game chat is taken out, but this is not something. Yeah, you don't want to come up here. They have perched archers. They have archers ready to go here to be able to start firing out. Pontus, tree, Eastern Archer, still trying to come around the corner, though. Uh, Egypt is trying to run another unit of his Cretan archers through here. I wouldn't recommend trying to do that either, because this Chosen Swordsman could easily cut this unit off. They're going to get into them. What happened here? That Egyptian archer, that unit of Cretans could have come around the other way. I don't know why he came in here. All right, what do we got back here? Let's take a look. We got some more Pontic Swordsmen. I thought I just saw the Pontus. Oh, another unit of Pikemen there for Pontus. Okay. Uh, Skatari falling back. Chosen Swordsmen. Yeah, they just got wrecked. They just got completely destroyed. This unit's going to get destroyed as well. They did get a little bit into some archers. How many did they kill? Nah, they didn't kill 50 there. What do we have here? Thorax Pikemen from Egypt as well. Wow. A lot of Pikes so far. A lot of Pikes. Another unit of pikemen here for Egypt falling back. So a regular unit of pikemen there. Thorax pikemen here. Thorax pikemen not in. Oh my god, that was disgusting. Osworn General Cohen charging in. Why would he be moving his, his general in? I would have sent this unit that way. Maybe the Osworn General could have come this way. Sent the other unit this way. Don't want to lose your general this early. I mean, it's a good, good charge though. He's taking out a unit of Thorax pikemen. Pikeman can definitely be a nuisance. Uh, Thorax Pikeman having a 70 armor, so they are better, obviously better than the regular Pikeman there that Egypt brought. But yeah, a lot of archer fire again. Fire arrows coming out. Who is firing fire arrows? Is that these guys? I think it is. Yeah, it's the Egyptian mercenary Cretan archers firing fire arrows there. Actually, I like this move right here. Pontus sending out a unit of his Celtic warriors to save that Thorax, sword, Thorax Pikeman. Down to 125 men. Pikes lined up here. Yep, Pikes are lined up, but they are not in their phalanx just yet. But it looks like the attackers have pretty much taken over the front part of the settlement, so everybody's just going to start moving in here. But Arverni, I mean, he's... Is Arverni almost gone? He is. Arverni's pretty much gone. All of his chosen swordsmen are gone. Side of this... Nope, yeah, that one unit right there. Wow. Osworn General exhausted. Unit losing. Is the General dead yet? Not yet, but he's still just going. Going in. Oh, Pike's not in Pike Phalanx. That is not a good thing. Not a good thing. Oh, headhunt getting on. Oh, yeah, that Pikeman unit's going to drop very, very, very quickly. We got the Osworn coming around. That's the Osworn General getting around the corner there a little bit. Getting into some more of the Mercenary Celtic Warriors. That was the unit that went out to try and slow the attack. Osworn from allow well, allowing the Thorax Pikeman to get away. But now look at this Archer Corps, right? Oh, that's not Archer Corps. That's just Kushite Slave Infantry. We have two units of the Gallic Hunters up on the front. Unfortunately, they are going to be dominated. These Eastern Archers could definitely, Eastern Archers and Cretan Archers could definitely wreck these two units of the Gallic Hunters, which they are definitely doing. Yeah, this Gallic Hunter unit getting dropped. The other unit starting to waver. This other unit's going to start going. The Osworn General unit now wavering. I think the General's dead. No, it doesn't say the General's dead yet, but he probably will be. Probably will be very, very soon. Again, I don't know why the Osworn, why he sent his Osworn general in there first. But all right, here we go. We got Kush coming around over here. Another unit of the Thorax pikemen there. So it looks like Egypt actually brought three pikes. Yeah, he's got one regular pikeman and then two units of Thorax pikemen. Oh, another unit of pikes. He's got four units of pikes. Woo, boy. Okay, interesting. Not sure what the rules were, but again... With the chat being gone from the game, people kind of just take whatever they want unless you're in a, uh, you know, an actual Discord or you're playing with people that you know. Or, you know, you still do run into those people who actually follow the 1-2-4 one, one, rules. But you guys don't know what the 1-2-4 rules are. Uh, that is one artillery piece, two pikes, and four units of range.
So that Osworn, he's still fighting. Wow, the Osworn is not gone. The general, at least, the general's unit. Don't think the general, I mean, I'm not saying that he's dead. So I think that general is still alive in there. I, I mean, I guess he's in there. Just leave him in there. Let him keep fighting. Exhausted. Does he have, I mean, he could refresh himself. He could definitely refresh himself. Is this, I mean, Arverni's still got to be here. I don't think the Arverni player left. Gallic Hunter, 61 kills. This unit here with 88. This unit there with 81. They did lose the one unit of Gallic Hunter, so unfortunately, he is down one. Uh, Bowie and I are now making their way around over here. I think that unit of Skatari pulled back. Looks like they did, but they're making their way back towards the wall now. Maybe they're going to get over here and take on this Celtic warrior, just try and eliminate them quickly. What is this? Another Galatian swordsman. Galatian swordsman there. Here comes more Celtic warriors taking on some Skatari there. The swordsman? Nope, yeah, it is Swordsman. Swordsman continuing on the fight against the Skatari. Swordsman not really going to stand up very well against the, against the Skatari. Skatari are pretty solid infantry. Pretty much all around, they are pretty solid. 60 armor, 60 melee defense, 21 charge bonus, 35 melee uh, weapon damage, 42 melee attack. They are pretty good, pretty good. Another unit of Shoto warriors getting up here to join the fight. Cavalry. Where is the cavalry? There's the heavy horse of Bowie Eye. Where's our Vernish cavalry? I think he's dead. I don't see our Vernish cavalry anymore. I don't even know where he ran them to. The last time I saw him, uh, he was attacking the archers that were on the wall there. I don't know where they went, though. Yeah, I don't see them anymore. I guess they're gone. I guess they are gone. Uh, this is definitely going to be a fight for the attackers, though. Hopefully they save some ammo because they have a lot of pikes to deal with. We've already seen they have a lot of pikes to deal with here. Oswan General still going along. 22 men left in the unit. 154 kills. Taking out some of the Eastern Archers there. 165 kills. All right, so one of the Eastern Archers there is gone. This unit there, 195 kills. My God, Eastern Archers drew in great. But look at this. Bowie Eye, Celtic Bowman. Firing up and down. Firing up and down. Getting some shots into these Galatian Swordsmen. Probably hitting some uh, Iberian Swordsmen as well. But oh no, Pontus falling back. Pontus is falling back. That is a weak point in the line here for the defenders. They got another little bit of a gap right here. Osworn maybe when they win that fight. Taking on the Galatian Swordsman there. Maybe they can send a unit this way. Now Pontus is falling back. Eastern Scorpion running away. 26 kills so far for him. But he had an artillery piece. Okay, well, I guess he brought two pieces of artillery then. Again, not a normal rule, so I don't want to say rule break because I don't know what these guys had going on. Uh, but for a normal standard game, that would definitely be a rule break. Uh, Skatari over here currently taking on Celtic Warriors. Just one unit. The other unit of Celtic Warriors. There you go. Murder sticks into the back. And as Skatari dropping more and more of them. Very nice. Skatari currently winning the fight. But I think they're about to re... Yeah, they just got rear charged. So it's probably going to be the end of that Skatari unit. Yeah, they're getting pushed back. Some of them get stabbed, dropped very, very quickly. Unfortunate for the Skatari unit. Let's see how many kills they ended up getting. 126 kills. Not bad at all for Skatari. But that unit is going to be done. They're going to try and retreat through. So these two Celtic warriors should be able to kill them off. 42 and 89 for those two units there. Gallic Hunter still alive. 63 kills making their way down over here. They do not have any more ammo. So probably just trying to maybe get the defenders to shoot in there. Got some of the Nubian Bowmen up here. Seven kills so far. Maybe they're going to start getting some shots. What was that? Is it just more fire arrows? It is. Egypt, the Cretan archers just firing fire arrows. Not really sure why he's doing that because he's firing over the top of his own men. So he's going to be giving them the debuff as well. Though that it really doesn't matter. It's a morale thing though. So it does affect their morale. But it doesn't really do very much else to melee infantry per se. Yeah, it drops their reload. What is it again? I forget what the other thing is. Hold on. Drops damage, reload time, and cannot be used when in wet weather. So... I mean, it, I guess it drops the damage of them, but it's not really that big of a deal. Especially, I mean, they have Osworn up here. This is not really going to drop their damage all that much. Yeah, you can see their weapon damage. I mean, maybe it just affects... I don't know what that affects, honestly. If you guys know in the comments, drop it down. Let me know what you guys think as far as what the... It says damage, but I don't see a damage debuff on the Osworn here. 
It's right out here. Now, I don't see the damage debuff anywhere for these guys. Firing back over here. Gallic Hunter's still there. 223 kills for that unit. Celtic Bowman for over, uh, sir, for Bowie Eyes still firing away. Getting shots up over here. Firing down. Dropping this unit of Cretan Archers. Nine kills for a Cretan Archer unit. They are done. Toasted. All right. Bowie Eye over here. They're actually making their way around in this direction. Coming around. Grabbing up this tower. Now, where did that chariot go? This could be a good thing for the chariot to try and do. Oop, boop, boop, boop. Didn't mean to click there. Meant to click on the uh, on the arrow there on my map marker. This chariot could come down and around. Maybe start causing a little bit of damage. Oh, there it is. Right there. Okay. Oh, that's Pontic Royal Cavalry. Okay, I thought that was going to be the Egyptian general. I'm not sure where he dipped off to. He, we did see him, but I don't know where he went just yet. But here comes the Pontic Royal Cavalry. They're going to come down here and try and take on this Celtic warrior. I mean, he could charge into him. Very heavy shot cavalry. Nope, not going to take the opportunity. Ah, uh, heavy horse coming over. Okay, that's why he's retreating. Not a bad idea. I mean, it's Pontic Royal Cavalry. They are a very heavy shot cavalry unit, but very heavy shot cavalry uh, drops there. Look at that melee defense. 17 compared to the heavy horse, 42. So melee defense, not as good for the shot cavalry. In case you guys didn't already know that. I figured maybe I'll just let you know. We have a big old battle going on here in the center still for this pass-through that the attackers did. I'm guessing it was the attackers that burned down that uh, that tower there. But we are archers still just unloading. 215, 161. Another unit of the Celtic Bowmen making their way over here. Full ammo for them. Gallic Hunters here, 223 kills. Archers so far have been doing fantastic. Really good amount of kills. 215 again. Uh, and that other unit right there. Hold on, let's see him. Oh, 161. Attackers still making their way through. Our Verney General obviously is gone. We have not seen his banner here for quite some time. Osworn still chugging away, though. 217 kills for them. Getting into a unit of Iberian Swordsmen. Iberian Swordsmen are not going to be able to stand up to the Osworn. At least they wouldn't be able to by themselves. Uh, but with the Balearic Slingers and a unit of Nubian Bowmen up on the wall there. Starting to neutralize, starting to route this unit or waver this unit of Chosen Swordsmen. Osworn still trying to hold on. This unit of Osworn right there, 254 kills. So the Osworn doing pretty good. Osworn did do pretty good. Unfortunately, that unit did break. Shotel Warriors right there, though, to pick up. Continue to help pushing there. Sword Followers have made their way up. 412 kills for Sword Followers. Oh, my God. Is that the... Sl oh, Kushite Slave Infantry. Okay, we got more Sword Followers now making their way forward. Back over on this side, the attackers have actually made their way through. I thought for sure the pikes were going to hold. Did that pike get dropped? There's a pikeman there. Galatian Swords trying to take on some Kushite Slave Infantry. Armored Shota Warriors in here. 88 kills so far, down to 87 men, though. Taking some losses. Defenders still falling back. We still have the chariot right there, side chariot. Uh, I don't think the Pontus General decided to come back down over here. What is that still way over there? Oh, it's the Ballista Crew for Bowie. I, okay. thought it was another unit. Uh, we have a Noble Fighter General for Arvaki. Not a bad general the unit at all. Uh, Skatari holding over here. We have Thorax Pikemen now making their way forward, but they are going to get dropped. They're marching. Why are they walking slow? I wouldn't even be bringing them up here. There's still archers here. There's no point in bringing them up at this moment. Plus, this part is really not going to be... It's not. This part is now over. The attackers could start making their way in this direction. I mean, they do have to deal with the ranged units up here. Balearic Slingers, 166. This unit of Nubian Bowman, 160. Are the Nubian Bowmen out of ammo? They are. So the Nubian Bowmen there are out of ammunition. We have another unit, a smaller unit of Nubian Bowmen down to 45 men starting to make their way forward. But the Chariot General inching his way forward. Inching his way forward. Scorpion there gaining a couple of more kills. It's up to 38 kills now. But yeah, Bo Bowie Eye is not going to press over here. I don't blame them for not pushing in this direction. Skatare and the Noble Fighter General. Pretty strong units. Skatari Noble Fighters, pretty strong, pretty strong. But all right, the Thorax Pikemen did make it away. Oh, no, they didn't. This is the unit that was coming out here. So, yeah, they just came out here to die. 42 for the Celtic Bowmen, that unit there with 58. Yeah, that, that, that uh, yeah, Thorax Pikemen are gone. Osworn, 295, still chugging away there. Sword Followers, 487 kills, almost 500 kills with this Sword Follower unit. Can they get it? Can they get it? They are absolutely still being decimated. Balearic Slingers firing down. Down to 16 men. 491. Come on. Keep going. 493. 
get those kills. There's 15 of you left. Come on. There's still 30 Galatian Swordsmen there. Oh, no, he's wavering. 494. 495. Get five kills. Five more kills. Come on. Oh, they broke. Keep fighting, though. 496. Kill the routing units. 499. Come on. One kill. Oh, no, they're not going to get it. I don't think they're going to get it. I think they're going to route. Yeah, there's nothing left here for them to fight. Oh, no, they're still fighting. Yeah. I think he got it. 500 even. 500 kills. 501 now with a sword follower. Solid job. There. It's fine. They can route now. Now they can go. 501 kills with a sword follower. Very, very nice amount of kills. Solid kills there. Really, really solid kills. All right, so what do we got over here? We got some pikemen. We got the Pontic Royal Cavalry General. I mean, <clears throat> balance of power is definitely in favor of the defend of the attackers at this moment. Uh, but there's a lot of pikes. There's a lot of pikes. Regular pikemen there. Thorax pikemen there. Regular pikemen over here for Pontus. There's a lot of pikes. Oh, we got Balearic Slingers here now. Balearic Slingers firing down into the heavy horse. Firing straight on into them. What's their armor again? 60 armor. I mean, they will eventually start taking some losses if this Balearic Slinger still just be able to fire away. There you go. Starting to drop a couple now. 77 left in the unit. Keep firing. Keep firing, Balearics. Get rid of that heavy horse. This guy won't break. 501 kills will not break. Veterans. They These final 13 men better become Osworn. After this battle is over, if they still live, they don't. even if they break, any of them that get away should immediately be promoted to Osworn. Without a doubt in my mind. But all right, back in here in the center, we have Celtic Bowmen made their way forward. We got some of the Celtic Warriors as well. Archers now firing down, taking out this Pontus Pikeman. Pontus Pikeman. Pontus Pikeman. Uh, I think that's the Kush Archers firing away, yeah. Kush Archers, 156. This unit only 27 kills so far. We've got some armors left. Let's see what he's at. 57 left in that unit, 114 kills. The Heavy Horse was deleted. They have routed. They may come back, but they're down to 26. And now, yeah, Balearic Slingers just firing away again, taking out these Celtic Warriors. I'm guessing that Bowie I probably doesn't care very much about... Oh, Skatari moving forward. We're going to get some Javelins. Are they going in for a fight? I think they are. This Celtic Warrior, yeah, this Celtic Warrior is going to lose. Here they come. Skatari, oh, with the Javelin volley. That nail in the coffin there for that unit, they're done. Celtic Warrior is going to be done. Balearic Slinger still firing, or have they stopped? Looks like they stopped. They still have fire. They had, no, they don't. Wait a second. No, they do. Okay, they still have their slings. I was going to say, do they not have their slings anymore? 61 kill. All right, now stop firing. Let this Katari get in there and kill this Celtic warrior. All right, so back over in the front line here. Let's see. We got some Pontic Swordsmen stacking up with the Pikemen. <clears throat> over on this side, we can't see anything just yet. We do have an armored Shoto warrior taking on some Skatari. Uh, a couple more units of Shoto Warriors making their way over here. Let's see. 57, 160. So another full unit there. Full unit of armored Shoto Warriors. This is a thing that the defenders really want to start firing at. If they have any ammo, fire right into here. Fire right into this. Because all of this is non-shielded side. This. There you go. Yes. Balearic Slingers firing away. Good. Good stuff. Fire down there. Get these Shotels and armored Shoto Warriors out of here. Definitely want to drop them. Firing into their backs. Firing into the non-shielded side. Great job. Kush noticing that. Going to pull his armored Choto warriors away. Got the sword follower still here. Oh, nope. It's Katari chasing. I wouldn't have done that. I don't think I would have done that. Because that's Katari now. It's just going to get cut down. Shoto warriors. Regular Shoto warriors able to get her charge in onto the back of them. I mean, the slingers are still firing down. Firing into the armored Choto warriors. Dropping them quickly. Down to 121. So they've definitely lost a decent amount. It was a full unit, 160. They are dropping here now, closer and closer to 100. Good shooting there by the Balearics. 77 kills, another unit of Balearics now starting to fire away. Hopefully they're firing right here. Oh no, looks like, are they both firing into that armored? Oh no, they're firing in here, good, 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 good. Firing into the back of this armor, uh, this regular Chateau Warrior there. Dropping them considerably, this unit down to 25, this one at 140, armors are down to 73 now. Getting dropped very, very quickly. Ten minutes left in the battle, guys. This is still a long fight to go. I don't know what the attackers are really going to be able to do. They got pikemen there. Another unit of pikemen. This is going to be a tough fight. 120 there. 44 left of that pikemen. But we do have some um, Shota war um, Shota warriors. Some sword followers making their way forward. 
Kushite Slave Infantry up there. Javelin's now coming in, gonna delete some more of this Pontic Swordsman unit. Very nice close quarter combat murder sticks right there. Very nice, let's wait for another volley here. Come on, give me another volley, boys. Big volley there from the archers, getting into more of those pikes. You can see more of them dropping. Another volley of the murder sticks into that Pontic Swordsman unit. Got some more infantry making their way forward. Is that an Armored Chota Warrior? It is. Armored Chota Warrior coming up and around. Uh, the attackers were victorious over here. They're going to continue moving forward. Hopefully the Slingers continue doing their job. Yeah, just earned a Chevron. Doesn't even have 100 kills yet. Doing a lot of damage to that Armored Chota Warrior there. This unit here, 177 kills. Are they out? No, it doesn't look like they're out. Does not look like they are out. That's the Pontic Cavalry General. All right, so the Balearic's shifting down over in this way. Kush still has a lot left. Kush has a lot left. See how his general, how was his archers ammo was? Uh, 140, 156, 88. They might still have some ammo left. Maybe. Pikemen getting dropped. Pikemen are getting dropped. They still have the Scorpion in here, though. 104 kills with the Scorpion. Chariots have made their way down. Oh, no. Chariot's getting into the heavy horse, but he's not going to go any further. Yeah, I don't blame him for not going any further. These guys, this sword follower definitely has javelins. But Chariot's coming out, scaring some stuff away. Not bad. All right, so over here, we got pikes. We got Pontic swordsmen that are not facing in the direction. Actually, they are in a terrible line right there. Absolutely horrible line. Sword followers have made their way forward. 101 left in the unit, 72 kills. Is that unit still there? Oh, no, I think the other one broke. I think the other one did end up breaking. 501 kills, baby. Good amount of kills. Really good amount of kills. Oh, no, it's breaking down. Pikemen have dropped. The other unit of pikes are dropping as well. Archers doing their job. Really doing their job. Celtic Bowman, 123 kills. Got another unit of Celtic Bowman right there, 91 kills. And here comes the Ar Armored, Armored Hotel Warriors making their way forward. Bowie Eye's actually capturing this. <laughs> He's actually capturing this. It's burned down. Not a bad thing, though. Not a bad thing. But all right, here comes another pikeman unit. So they've moved the pikes away from this side. Oh, maybe because they, well, they have the Skatari over here. They might be able to do something. Another use Skatari there. Balearic Slingers, 221. This unit there, 177. This unit here, 131. Pontus Cavalry General coming down. I don't know if I'd recommend doing that. <clears throat> or did he follow? Oh, maybe he was following the heavy horse. No, he did charge down here. He is charging down here. I don't know if I would have done that. There's a lot of sword followers over here, but it doesn't look like they threw their javelins much. Pontic General going to get away. He's lost seven men so far, 14 kills total, but he is going to make his way back through the line there. Uh, Skatari definitely need to reform their line. Definitely need to reform their line after that general gets through. Just, just drag him back out here, make him a full line again. All right, back up on here. Pikes only 33 kills. Galatian Swordsmen trying to do what they can do. Armoreds have gotten around. Oh, no. Armored Showtail Warriors getting into Balearic Slingers. That is just a one-sided fight all around for sure. The Balearics have totally have this fight. No, I'm kidding. Armored Showtail Warriors are going to murder them. Completely murder them. Armored charge in. They're not even charged in, just charge. Oh, no. Yeah, you definitely want to move forward. You definitely want to move forward. There's Balearics over there just firing away on you. <clears throat> yeah, definitely attack. Definitely attack, but over on this. Oh, no. This side. Oh, the chariots. Oh, no. The chariot general coming out. Keep going. Keep going. Got it. Oh, God. That was a nice javelin volley there from the Oswald general of Bowie. I keep going, chariots, though. Have to keep clicking through. 168 kills, 170, closing in on 200. Keep going, he's still got seven left. Click this way, go this way. Celtic Bowman, they got the Royal Kushite Archer General. Oh no, he's down to 12 left. Oh, I'm sorry, six. Six, 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 212, six, 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 six. I didn't mean to say the first one, keep going. 230, getting into that Kush General now. Clipped into some of the Celtic Bowman as well. Keep going. All right, Javelin Volley there, right, that's gonna be the end. Chariots are done now. 281 kills. Oh, man, that could have been, honestly, it could have been better. It really could have been better if he kept clicking through, 
keep you can't attack don't just attack the unit you have to click past chariots and elephants you have to click past so they keep going through all right back up on the hill here sword followers losing currently glacian swords and we got some skitsari right there uh two armored choto warriors have made their way through over here 99 kills 78 kills the pontus general coming over here i'm not sure was he trying to charge in there <clears throat> Not really sure what he's doing. The Pontus General just kind of hanging out there. This has now attacked. Okay, so Skitare losing. Noble Fighter's got to get involved. Noble Fighter General has to get involved here. This Sword Follower unit just plinging away. Dropping them down. Sword Followers have died, though. Skitare, I mean, honestly, with the yeah, I would push down this. I'd push down here, take this Sword Follower out as quick as possible because Bowie Eye now has almost a... Nope, they have a lane. They do have a lane with the Osworn General there. Shoto Warriors, Armored Shoto Warriors, 114 kills, eight left in the unit. This is getting down to the nitty gritty here, guys. There is a lot left for the defenders. There is a lot left The defensive. Yeah, balance of power really in favor of the defenders now. This late of game, can the Osworn General turn this around? We have another sword follower making his way up. Full sword follower there. I think this is an oh, 92 left in that unit. Celtic Warriors, 156. So Bowie Eye still has a lot of troops left. Sword followers, yeah, take it on the Noble Fighter General. He's not gonna do well. Not going to do well against that Noble Fighter. Even with it not being a general, it's still a Noble Fighter. They're going to do a lot of damage. Let's see what's going on back up here. Osworn General getting in there. Here we go. Another Skatari moving in. 49 kills. Do they just charge in? No, they do not. They are actually going to get countercharged. The Osworn General peeling off of this Skatari. Getting a charge in onto that Skitari there. 92 kills. Oh my god. Nine hundred and nineteen pikemen for Pontus just showed up. I thought I saw them over here, but I wasn't sure. Oh, Skitari coming down. Yeah, that sword follower's done. Sword follower is done. The general for Pontus now charging in onto the armored Chuta warrior unit. I don't know if I would have done that. They're in shield wall. Probably didn't do the whole a lot of damage. Well, maybe they did, actually, because I think that's causing the Armored Children Warriors to lose. Yeah, losing decisively now. Bowie Eye still has units, though. He's got to move around. He's got to start coming around. Has to help these Armored Children Warriors out. 162. There's still 95 of them left. This backside over here, though, is going to get taken out. Yeah, Skatari's going to win that. No problem. Noble Fighter General. 81 kills. Lost 18 men. He is still pretty solid. I think the Celtic Bowman might be out. Yeah, that unit's out. I think all of these Celtic Bowmen are out. Yeah, they all have their daggers out, short swords, whatever you want to call it. 165, 139, 135, not bad. But here comes the sword followers. The Osuan General has pulled away. Ooh, maybe this can work. Oh, no, no, no. The Royal Pontic General Cavalry coming out. Or Pontic Royal Cavalry General coming out here now. This is not looking good for the, for the attackers. Charge there. Charge right there. Go, 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 go. Break them down. Solid charge. Really solid cheer. Oh my god, that was a massive rear charge. Celtic Warriors getting taken out. They were doing okay against the Pontic Swords, but that general just really turned that fight. Sword followers over here still taking out Skatare. Close fight, 38 to 45. Really close fight there still. That other sword follower, where did he go? Oh, he's still hanging out right there. What's left over on this side? 62 Skatari. This could be something the attackers want to do. But we maybe want to come this way. But here comes that Pontic Royal Cavalry General after a massive victory. 91 kills for him. Still 63 left in the unit, making their way around. Sword followers. Oh, they're going to... I guess the sword followers are going to try and wait for the general to come over here, the Pontic General. This is not looking good. Final minute, 26 left seconds left in this battle, guys. Osworn General coming around again. Got the sword followers lining up there. Here's another sword follower here. Archer's going to try and maybe get through. Javelin's being thrown. Pontic General colliding with the sword followers. They did get a little bit of a javelin, javelin volley off there, but I don't think it's going to be enough. 58 seconds left. Unit losing decisively. Another sword follower right there. Not currently in combat. I just don't think they're going to have enough. I think this is over. Defensive victory. What was that? Eight units? Six six units of pikes between Pontus and Egypt? 
Here comes the Noble Fighter General. Going to come over here. Get it. Yeah, this is when General's done. Oh, yeah. Look at Valeric Slinger. Still has a ton of ammunition left. Chevron earned for the Noble Fighter. Made him stronger. There goes Bowie Ice General. Sword Followers out here. Not strong enough. Cannot deal with that Pontic Royal Cavalry. Final unit of Sword Followers in here. Melee combat. Pontic General's just going to come in here. Yep, there he goes. Pike's turned. Pike stacking. Again, I can't say for sure that it was rule breaks. Uh, Ucha, if you end up watching this replay, definitely let me know. But yeah, there you go. Defensive victory. Costly enemy victory. Let's get into the ending army compositions here. Good amount of kills. Really good amount of kills. 2,000, 2,000, almost 3,000, 3,000, 2,000. Really solid amount of kills. But all right, let's take a look at the armies. Uchiha Madara here with Bowie Eye. 2,762 kills. 164 with his generals, Ballista 97. Heavy Horse, only 17 kills. They got destroyed. Uh, his Celtic Bowman, though, 186, 263, 145, 135. Really solid job with his archers. Celtic Bowman doing work. Celtic Warriors, 185, 103. Naked Warriors got destroyed. Uh, his Sword Followers, 156, 504. So they got three more kills after we walked away from them. 504 kills. 102, 107, and 254. Very well done with his uh, the majority of his Sword Followers. Taking a look at our Verney, 1974. He was just a bull. He just charged straight in. Uh, 156, I'm sorry, 1974 with him. 156 with the general, 93 with his art, with his cavalry. Uh, Archers, 189, 237. The other two mid-60s or early 60s there. Chosen Swords were not, oh yeah, they got destroyed. Those ones, 91 there, 131, 184, but five out of his seven Chosen Swords unable to get over 100 kills. Osborne here, 314, 223. And then we have Angry Monkey 911 or 911 911. I don't know. Uh, with Kush 2,380 kills, 141 with his general. Nubian Bowman 156, 174. This unit here with 95. Armored Chota Warriors 170. Oh, 114. Wow, these two did not. Well, this one didn't do very well. Only 51. Kushite Slave Infantry 227, 117, 201. Really solid job there. Regular Shotels, 127, 172, 285. Swordsman top unit was a 99, and his slave infantry didn't do anything. Then we have Damo here with Artavaki, 2,747 kills. Almost. Wow, that's really close. 15 kills for Uchiha over Damo. Solid fight there. Uh, 140 with his general, still had a ton left. Balearic Slingers, 243, 225, 242, 122. Solid job with his range. Iberian Swordsman, 118, 116. Uh, well, I guess we'll throw the 99 in there. Skatari, 169, 155, 196, 129, 180, 250, 146. That is a solid core of Skatari right there. Again, 169, giggity. Then we have Liam, 9526 9, with Pontus, 2209, 205 with his general, 132 with his scorpion. Uh, his Eastern Archers, 148, 163, 165, 204. Again, range just doing a lot of work. Really well done by a lot of the players here. Uh, his mercenary Celtic Warriors, 113. The other units did not get over 100. Two pikemen here. Okay, so he had two regular pikemen. Pontic Swordsman, 130, 138, 109, 159. And his Thoreos top unit there was an 85. And then we have Programmer here with Egypt. He had four pikemen. Two units of regular pikemen, two units of Thorax pikemen, but it didn't pay off. Did not pay off at all. Pontus, two units of pikemen, did much better than pretty much all, add up all four of those pikes. Wow, yeah, good job. All right, so the side chariot general, though, 322 kills. Good job. Nice timing for him to come out. Uh, unfortunately, his range units didn't do very well, except this unit, 189, so almost 200 kills with a Nubian Bowman. His Galatian Swordsman, 148. Well, sorry, 144 was the top. Levi Thoreos got destroyed. A lot of Nubian Bowmen. Uh, sorry, Nubian Spearmen. Not, not very good. 67 for the top kill there. But all right, guys, there you go. Valiant defeat for the attackers. We actually had a defender's victory. Doesn't happen all that often when we're showing on the attacker's viewpoint, but it happened today. So good to see. Fun battle overall. A little bit of rule breaks, probably. More than likely a little bit of rule breaks there for Egypt. Uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. You got to, you know, you just keep on playing on, having fun. But thank you very much, all six of you guys. Great game. Great, great coverage. Really had fun covering this one. But that's going to be the end, guys. So make sure to hit the like button, drop some comments, share the video around. Subscribe to the channel. And uh, have a great rest of your day. Stay safe. And as always, until the next one.
Hey guys, I just wanted to take this opportunity to send a special thanks to my Patreon supporters and my YouTube members. Thank you very much for your continued support. I really appreciate it.